So it's Amy Schwartz, I'm the director of the studio, Corning Museum of Glass. So the studio's been here 21 years, just had our 20th birthday, and it's a place for everyone to learn and work with glass. So our mission is to be a leader in the international glass community and a creative resource for the region. You're in the lobby. Everything you see here is something a visitor can come and make when they're on their tour of the museum. Pop over. They can make a flower if they're over 14, or an or ornament, or a sculpture. This is a paperweight heart heart paperweight or a rose paperweight. They could make a bead or a pendant at the torch if they're over 10. And then little kids can fuse projects or sandblast projects. About a quarter of our family and individual visitor to the museum makes glass. That's 63,000 people a year. And it's like a starter drug. They come in, they make something, and then they eventually want to take a class so I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you down and just show you some group activities, and then we're gonna go see the part of the studio that's really for artists, and that is where we have um, at this time of year we have intensive classes. We have about 50 people here now. We have five classes, and we teach glassworking to all ages and all levels of expertise. And we have some great artists here now. Hugh Salkind is here now. I think you guys know him. And um, last week we had Yushin Goins here in the flame shop, but we also do glass blowing, kiln forming, cold working, and uh, it's a great place. This is a program we call Fun with Glass. About 6,000 people a year make glass in groups. This is a school group. They tour the museum and then they come and make glass. And these guys are doing a sun capture. So this area we can use for individuals or groups to do fusing and sandblasting. So it's kind of fun. So we have a few display cases. We display a lot of work made by the artists and teachers and some of the students that come here. This is our main workshop where we do all our glass working for visitors. So over here we do our ornaments and our flowers. So we have three stations of hot working. The table is where we do fusing and sandblasting and then you'll see behind it we have two torches now but we have four torches when it's busy and in the summer this will be completely full of people making glass. Visitor experience kind of stops here. Some of the brave visitors will want to see this display case. We kind of try to keep cool things for kids in here, like our surfer dude and our clown. And then if visitors are uh, really adventurous, they'll walk up and look at the flame shop. So now we're kind of entering the artist part of the studio. And here we have flame working class. And this is Hugh Salkheim teaching. So there are nine students. They'll pretty much be in here from eight or nine in the morning to 11 at night for a week. And they're happy, usually very happy. So this class just started an hour ago, so they haven't really done much yet. But we have a lot of different kinds of torches. Last year we got new kilns, scut kilns that the Boro people really love. And so we're trying to cater to all different flame workers. We welcome all flame workers here. So, uh, if the visitor is really adventurous, they'll walk down the hall. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go see the rest of the studio. And this is really more the artist part you're in. So people here either identify as full-time artists or part-time artists or uh, hobbyists, but they're all passionate about glass. So uh, this is Bill Goodenrath teaching Introduction to Venetian Glass Blowing. And so this studio is sometimes used for classes. More often it's used for artists to rent time by the hour. When, our, when we have no classes, artists are welcome to rent time by the hour. And a lot of people come and make their work here. Okay, this is our main teaching studio for hot glass working. And we have a class happening here. It's George Kennard. 
He's doing a class, a class called Multiple Gathers. So they're just making things that are really big. So we have a thousand pound furnace. We have two different colors in our color pot. And uh, class just starting. So. This is our kiln working area. So this is our workroom. And so this is a pat de verre class. We'll each making a vessel out of clay and then they'll make they'll go in the mold room and put plaster around it and then put glass in it. Just spray a little, a little, a little, a little this is a cold working class. So I'm always here at the teaching. It's they're mostly doing engraving right now and they'll do some cold working. <laughs> This is our cold like, chop. Nobody's working now, but a nice little cold chop, and usually by the end of the week, everybody will be in here and finishing. Nice. This is our lecture room here and our lunch room. Today we have a big crowd in the studio, so we can open the doors and make it one big room. We use this for little parties, if we're doing pre uh, presentations, like instructor presentations or student presentations. We do them here. And sometimes we have little cocktail things where we can show slides and people can show up their work and bring their families in and kind of a nice party scene. I want to thank you for coming to see the studio at the Corning Museum of Glass. We'd love to have you come and visit, take a class. These Torch Talk guys are awesome. You should all send them some cookies. They'd love that. But seriously, we have a great flame working studio here. We'd love to have you come and take a class or come and visit the museum and see flame working through history and come and say hi to me over at the studio. Bye.